I got uh, this new episode I'm doing today and uh, it's an interesting one because uh, this I've already looked at this drive before uh, it came in today uh, after I diagnosed this thing back in 2015 so it's almost been like three years October 20th 2015 not quite three years yet but two and a half years at least so um, Client said that uh, the quote was given, but at the time they didn't have the funds to do it, but the content uh, is dear to them, so they wanted to get it done eventually. And finally that time has come. Let's see if we can find a donor for it. So this is what a two, in a two a terabyte LP looks like. Pretty much the same drive. I'm gonna set it here. I'm gonna pick out all the LPs that I may have. Because uh, the next step of the process will be figuring, it, figuring out what preamplifier version we need to match. Since uh, it's been at least two and a half years since I saw this thing in person, what would be a better way to uh, uh, get reunited with it by inspecting it again? Because obviously I don't remember what is happening with that device. And... Uh, <clears throat> I want to make sure that we're on the same page with it. So, uh, first things first, I got uh, my station here. Gonna link it up. Actually, you know what? I don't even need the terminal for this. I'm gonna just see what it does when the power goes to the unit. Channel zero. Okay, first of all, I don't feel it spinning, and I feel like we just went down that road, down that path a couple of videos ago. So yeah, these noises are exact same as the ones that were uh, happening to that 7200.12 that I swapped platters on the other day in the video. Uh, you can probably find it in the description as well uh, if you're interested. So <clears throat> what are we going to do? I just depowered this drive and uh, it needs to be inspected. The difference between this unit and uh, the 7200.12 that I did the platter swap on is that this, uh, this generation, Barracuda LP, was not very famous for having problems with bearings and spindles. And another distinctive uh, difference between this drive and the drive that I did the platter swap on is that this unit parks heads on the outside of the disc surface on the parking ramp, which is made out of plastic. And if the heads are parked on that plastic ramp, then these noises would indicate the problem with the bearing. But most likely when we open this up, we'll see that heads are positioned on the disc surface, which is related to something else. This is a very good example of um, what can happen when one of the heads flies off the disc assembly, off the head assembly, and uh, the parking ramp is missed. Because the head assembly is positioned almost on the ramp, <clears throat> on the side here, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but heads missed the parking. Okay, so they went, instead of going onto the ramp, they went under, and that's why the unit is jammed in there. So right now, this creates friction, preventing the motor to spin freely, which is probably the only thing that is saving this drive right now. The first thing I would always do in this case is inspect the uh, uh, the gasket around to see if I can spot any loose heads in it. Doesn't look like there are any, but with that being said, this head assembly that's in there right now is garbage. 
So it has to come out. The original board has uh, a component on there that will tell us what what uh, compatible version of preamplifier we need to look for on our donor device. So the value we're looking for is A8 for the preamp. Okay, so let's test some donors. This is our preamp type, so as you can see, it's A835. This technically is going to be good enough for us to do the work with, uh, but let's see if we could get an A800. I have a couple more donors, but I feel like A5, O5 is going to be close enough to do the necessary work. And uh, let's fire it up disk scanning tool just to ensure that the device can read well. Hundred and thirty megabytes per second speed. That's perfect speed. Yeah, we're getting that proper ID. I'm not gonna force it to read right now because it may need some firmware adaptation. Uh, so let's just run a quick disk scan. Again, uh, from the middle of the drive. Hundred megabytes speed. How do you like that? I know I do, I know I do. So this is it, I gotta st stop this here. I'm gonna start imaging. This unit is doing great. Uh, we're got, we got the ID, I'm gonna start imaging right now. And if you have a drive that is making these sounds and you need the recovery from that drive, uh, check out the description below as well. Uh, the contact information for our company is there. Uh, for those who are following the channel on a daily basis, as always, I thank you guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. So enjoy your weekend and I'll see you guys next week.